Hey Plenty friends, welcome back to another new Plenty video. Today, we're gonna be doing some errands. We're gonna go to the Lowe's. I need to buy some orchid bark mix, which y'all are gonna see this video today, but yesterday, which I'm gonna still film, I need the orchid bark mix to repot a orchid that we ended up buying on clearance at the Lowe's. She's currently in her old planter still with sphagnum moss, which is not that bad, but I wanna go ahead and upgrade her on a better medium. So I like to get the my potty mix from Lowe's. It's really, really good. The orchid bark mix, amazing. And then after that, we're gonna go to a Dollar Tree. I need to buy some planters because Dollar Tree sells really, really good planters and even cash pots for really, really cheap for like a $1.25. It used to be a dollar, but still a dollar twenty-five is like a really, really good price. And then after that, we're gonna go to the Home Depot for no specific reason. It's just that um, it's super close by. So the next place I gotta go, like it's literally like super close <laughs> to the Dollar Tree and the next place. And I just wanna go ahead and show you all what kind of plants they have. If they have nothing interesting, then I'll just show like small glimpse of whatever I can find also as well as the lows that we're gonna go to i'm gonna buy some orchid orchid bar or oh my god <laughs> orchid bark mix but i do want to show you the kind of plants if they have any cool plants i'm not really looking to buy a plant but we already know what happens and how that works out <laughs> if there's anything that looks really really cool and after the home depot we're gonna go to walmart i need to go ahead and do some groceries i'm gonna make a chicken soup because it's just such nice weather with some chicken soup some rice corn tortillas and some tabasco I love my salsas. That's what we have planned as of today. And I wanna go ahead and take you guys along because it's always fun looking at the plants and seeing what's new as well with planters. So yeah, let's just go. Plant shopping. They have a yesena. That's a good dirt, but it's okay. There's another one, it's not that big, it has the first one, but yeah, it's safe now. They got a Marble Queen Potos. Really, really nice and variegated. $14.98. Oh my goodness. I've been wanting a super blue because I had one for so long. And you know what? I think I might get this one. I know I said I was not going to get a plant. But for $14.98. I don't want to pay like the Costa Farm baskets ones because they're like 20 something. And then the small baskets are like almost 17. And these grow like, so, so fast. Like really, really fast. And they're really easy to propagate. So. I'm gonna get this one, and I think there's only one. That's so many pretty plants. I mean, it's not that lush and full, but they got a good variety of plants. This one's really, really pretty. Love, love the planter for $22.98. Look this tiny little teeny key. $13.98. This is a fun pegalia. How much is it? 1390, that's not bad. Look at that. Looks really, really good. I said pegalia, it's a pepperonia. They usually look really, really similar to the other ones. Oh, this is a new alocasia. I love the stems. 24.98. They're killing me. A variegated Maranta. Like, this is wild. Where's the price tag? Where's the price tag? $17.98. Oh my goodness. It's a little too pricey. I mean, it's not bad. It's not a really, really cute plant, but I'm not like close to Farm Sozies. And there's smaller ones for like $4.90. Four something, seven something. Depending what size you get, this is not bad. No, no, no. I mean, that's a really, really cool find. That's insane. That I was even able to catch one. I was literally here, like last week. They have so many new plants. Even like the Jacinas, it's like really, really fun. 
that we was able to find that. Oh my goodness. I'm literally telling you, I was like literally here last week. 25.98. Wow. Looks really, really good. I know it costs if I'm used to sell these. I'm not sure if they're gonna get back at it. This is a really, really pretty one. I love how bold and thick and succulent the leaves are. Beautiful. I have the barricaded one, but this one is equally as beautiful. Oh, look at that. Just, I'm such a touchy person. I know I hate that I touch the plants, but it just feels so nice. And I feel like I get something out of it. Like, I feel like they release positive vibes. <laughs> it makes me feel better. There's three plants. Some fake spangle moss. Really beautiful plant for $25.98. Right, it was 25. Sorry. Uh, yeah, 25.98. That is not a bad deal. But I'm in a budget and I can't go too crazy. And I'm actually down to get the sable blue. Oh my goodness. We got a zebra plant. And it's in bloom. Wow. Look at the little flower. That's so so cute. And this one is for $24.98. Look, do you have another one? <laughs> Same amount of plants, but the other one looks more fuller. And then they got a fiddle. Look at this massive, massive fiddle. They still have these. I think it's pretty. There's a name. It's a Hoya. Cute, cute. Oh, this is new. Mini Monsteras. And these self watering planters. Look at that. There's a lot of them. It looks so good. I'm so curious what was on those little empty patches. Maybe some Anjulas. Those are usually always the first ones that go. So I was ready to go to check out, but they got some plants on clearance. <laughs> they look really, really good. Good thing it's a cloudy day, because if it was not, this would get scorched. They got some of those orchids. Stop it! <laughs> uh, oh, I just always want to save one of them. I tried to scan it would be $10. These smaller ones, they're like, what, like five? My hands are busy, I can't like... Here it is. $5.98. So they're $5.98. They'll be $4. Yeah, they'll be $4. Bye 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 bye. These lucky bamboo. I think whatever is. There's another sign. And I think that's 15 and up is 50% off. So these. They're 15 some. Yeah, 1598. So they'll be like $7. That is not a bad price. They look really. Ooh, they got some orchids. Uh, everything's like. Damn it. Uh. Put this down. I want to show you, I mean, because I know there's some orchid lovers, and where's the price tag? These look really good. Oh. Man, that's a pretty orange flower. I don't have any, like, I don't see no damage. They even have the smaller ones on clearance. And some segments. The problem is, I mean, these are pretty cool too. I just don't see the price in the baggies. I gotta go ahead and 21 and oh, so these are 10 dollars, right? Like 10 50 cents. That's pretty. I don't want it to get burnt. It's gonna take a little bit longer for it to get burnt. Uh, see, so like these smaller ones are 9.98. Oof, that one doesn't look good. So they're four dollars. That's not bad. But these bigger ones, okay, sixteen. Oh, 
It's either like 750. Yeah, this one's pretty appetizing to me, but I think it's it's a Vanda orchid. Wait, yeah, it's a Vanda orchid. They usually like to show off their roots from what I know, like they love to have a lot of air roots. I mean a lot of air. Oh, that one's pretty, it's like purple. I think I might get this one too. Damn it! Damn it! I mean, those are pretty cool too. And they really come in, come in an actual planter. It has holes so the roots can breathe. We got other ones over here. This one. 29. We have some different bakias, aglonemas, and thurians. Oh, this looks good. See, I said I was not gonna buy any plants, but here I am. And this is why I'm trying to calm down going plant shopping, but I needed some orchid potty mix to repot the orchid that we saved. And here I am debating on saving another orchid. <laughs> wow. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. I think I might get this one. I think it's too much if I get those. Those look really good though. But I'm kind of done for this band orchid. An experiment and get some wisdom and just learn how to care for it. So I'll give you guys a haul of the car. Oh my goodness, you know what I, I should give myself? I, I ended up parking a little bit farther because this Los is really, really busy right now. It's a beautiful day, kind of. And they're getting really, really busy. So, which is awesome. It's kind of kind of hot in here. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a haul. I did got an extra, some extra plants and I was just supposed to go and get this. But I always persuade myself. I'm just really good at lying to myself and I don't regret it. I'm actually really, really happy with what I got. And I'm also trying to get plants that I can go ahead and sell. I'm gonna take it off my staple so I can reach cause it's down over here. But I ended up getting the orchid, you guys. Also, it came out a little expensive. I was like, I had to tell her, um, you put this on clearance? And she said, yes. Like she had an attitude and I was like, oh, okay, my bad. So I got the receipt. The Vanda orchid was $8.49. Those are usually six, hold up. How much? Are Damn it! There's no clearance in that thing. I don't even know how much. Yeah, the Vanda Orchids are $16, right? I, I might need to go back in the footage. That would make sense, right? $16 for this. I'm gonna better not. That's kind of expensive. Who would pay $16? I mean, I know some business from Orchid people, but. I can't complain. $8.49 for this really, really healthy green. Very green. The roots look pretty good too. Vandal orchid, that is not a bad idea. I'm actually gonna have this in my restroom. Um, I need to watch some videos. I know there's an amazing lady, orchid plant lady, I believe, on YouTube that has amazing information about orchids, a lot of different varieties. I just, excuse me, I just really, really love the flower. It's a beautiful orange. It's called Orange and Orange Tote Vanda Orchid Exotic Selection, easy to grow. The flowers are just so pretty, so I got it. It looks really, really healthy, and I didn't want it to get scorched because tomorrow's going to be a really, really sunny day, and those plants are gonna get, um, Bah! So, <laughs> I don't want that to happen. See how I lie to myself? Like, it'll be fine. But I'll be like, I'm doing I'm doing the right thing. I'm doing a good thing. But yeah, my total came out $45.29. That's over budget. And I'm not even doing budgets no more. But it's okay. Because I saved some plants. And that's always going, that's always a valid excuse to buy some plants. And go over budget and stuff like that. So, and then I ended up, ended up getting this one. This was $21.98. I put the receipt away. And it was for seven. I want to tell you guys because I think it's really, really fun to like actually know. I got it for ten ninety nine, and I like the ceramic. It's a beautiful one, and it's already perfect. So what I might do is just take this old pot, um, orchid potty mix or medium out and add the fresh one that I have right over here. Some good bougie stuff right there, and that was seven thirty eight. Not on clearance, but I really needed that. And it has um, charcoal. It has. Um, Perlites and the bark. This is for bark. So it's a really, really good potty mix. I use for my orchids and my orchids have been loving it. She's bloomed for me twice. So that's what I use. But this one looks so good as well. And for 10, something with it already. Cause I was like, I, I don't have a spot for that vanded orchid, but it, I, know it's a vanded, I know people usually hang them. So I can probably have it in my restroom, give it a grow light and it'll be okay. 
but these and the other ones do need like a container with holes i believe but this one already has it all i gotta do is just take it off give it some fresh potting mix and then that it was scale for some reason oh my god stop i i'm so bad at checking my plants usually i've been trying to get better at it it could just be dirt but it looks pretty pretty good very very healthy just need to cut off this flower and it has one two three i think this one died already but four shoots it looks really really good and here is a name then or i guess it's gonna be flipped dan draw orchid that's not bad and i just i want to grow my orchid collection a little bit i think they're beautiful since mine has bloomed really really good the one that my boyfriend gave me it makes me want to try again with the other ones because i used to try like four years ago back then and i used to kill them <laughs> learning now i think what i did i let them not dry out and it's not good to have water instead of the foliage it rots and that's what happened and then lastly i just had to get it y'all i got the silver blue for 14 i know i know i know because can sell it for a lot more luscious and a bushier basket for like 20 something but i don't want to pay 20 something for silver blue because these grow so easily and they grow so so fast this is like the most easiest plant to ever propagate i believe and for me next to the golden potos and it grows so fast give it give it a good grow light or give it some good bright indirect light it does appreciate humidity like any other tropical plants right and some fertilizer and i i'm telling you it just it will do super duper duper good so and i finally got a super blue i've been wanting oh my god there's a guy right there holy crap <sighs> Said I. <laughs> Anyways, I don't care. I'm not gonna see him ever again. That's why I tell myself to not like get so so anxious and like anxiety when there's people around me because I'm like, I'm never gonna see them again. So it's not that deep. Like it's okay to act dumb and because they might think I'm crazy because I'm talking to myself in the car like a psychopath. Maybe I'm in a phone call. I don't know, but they might think I'm crazy. But it's okay because I'm not gonna see them again. So it's kind of irrelevant to think what they think about me. But this is very. That's 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 that's. I think that's a valid way and a legit way to think as a car passing by and she was staring at me so weird <laughs> i live in san antonio a lot of people are like being ojitos but i see i think this is a beautiful plant a beautiful silver blue and i finally got one and it's on a hanging thingy which is perfect but i won't have it i'm gonna have it in a grow light so it can grow fast because i need it to grow fast i want to propagate it and i love it it's in a cash pot these it's a beautiful cash pot it's not that heavy so it won't, it won't be a problem in the ceiling but I got the silver blue. Surprisingly, all of this came out really, really expensive. It came out with So I got four things. The average was like, what? Like $10 each. Well, it's not bad. Oh, um, this was $14.98. Like I said, it's pretty, pretty cheap. That's how it used to be with the smaller Costa Farm ones. They're hangy baskets, but they raise it to $16.98, I believe now, which is kind of, I mean, I get it, inflation, but wow. <laughs> so I was going to go, you guys, to Home Depot, but I think I'm going to go. I'm not going to do that. I think it's dangerous if I go. I, girl, I went over budget, like, honestly. So, <laughs> I'm not gonna go to Home Depot, but I am gonna go to Walmart. And if I see anything good at the Walmart, then I will go ahead and film it. But I highly, I highly doubt it. So, what, what I think might happen, I didn't want to just post this video. I kind of want to be posting, like, vlog kind of videos. I gotta think about it. I honestly might just end up fixing these with y'all in this video. I have a reporting video I gotta do after this one today. So... That's still gonna be in a separate video, but I think on this video we can go ahead and repot this orchid. I know I just got her and she might go in shock because I know when you get a new plant, you're supposed to let it settle down in its new environment. If not, it will stress it out, but I think it'll be fine. I'll give it a really good grow light to make it happy. The silver blue, I wanna go ahead and chop a little bit of vines. I just wanna get enough to like propagate a, uh, a four inch planter and then I'll propagate that in, in the springtime and upgrade it to a six inch. I wanna like, you know, slowly but steadily get into a nice, those Costa Farm hanging baskets are just perfect. So I'll go ahead and do that with the silver blue, um, cut it up. And then the Vanda Orchid, I mean, that's not much into it, to be honest. I'm gonna just educate myself on that and do that. But I guess what we can do right now, I guess we can go to Dollar Tree. I do need to get some planters. I really do because they've been selling out. Like, honestly, I, I've gone to like four locations and they've been selling out of those. So I need to go and snatch some before, I don't know. I'm, I'm hoping they got a shipment so I can pick some up. I want to get the ones that I always get. Like, if you know, you know, they're like a dollar 25 where everything is. And I want to get like four of those. And then I want to get the hanging ones, four of those as well. And if they saw any small ones, I need some of those too. 
because I have some plants that are too tiny. I don't want to upgrade it to those big ones. I, I need something like in the middle, so like a six inch. But I'll go ahead and show that and record that at the Dollar Tree. And then after that, I think that'll be it. Uh, after we do the care and repotting for the orchid and propagating the sable blue. I'm going to propagate in sphagnum moss. It's really, really simple to propagate, you guys. I have done it in water and it has worked successfully, but sphagnum moss is a lot faster and the transition to soil, it's a lot easier since they're not water roots, but they're different stuff. So. And yeah, that's my little plenty haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Now let's go to the Dollar Tree. <laughs> Hello, it is the next day and I'm gonna give you guys a little haul on everything that I ended up getting. So I think the last clip that y'all saw was at the, oh my God, stop, at the Dollar Tree. And <laughs> you guys, oh my God. So I literally placed an order on Taco Bell with DoorDash, which if you know, DoorDash kind of inflates their prices and then you got a tip. I don't have my car, my boyfriend's using it, but I found out that Taco Bell, and I'm saying it because I just found out Taco Bell released a new chicken empanada. <laughs> it looks so good. And I'm hungry. And I ended up, oh, and there was a, a $10 off coupon on DoorDash. But I placed it. <laughs> Leave me alone. So it's probably gonna come in a couple of minutes. I'm not, I'm not quite sure. And a little bit of me was like, I, I manipulate myself. I'm like, just go ahead and place it you have so much footage you're gonna do you need all this energy like you know go ahead and in my head i'm like girl you know damn well if you eat a lot you're gonna get sleepy you're not gonna do anything <sighs> but i don't know let's be like nothing nothing ups young girl but let's taco bell so <laughs> the last clip y'all saw was at the dollar tree and i'm gonna tell you exactly what i got i'm already using a planter and Scanning, scanning for Mexicans. That's a, a quote from South Park. I don't know if, if I said it right or if you got it, but it's from South Park. And I'm still scratching. Um, oh my gosh. I think that's the last time I'm gonna take a really, really hot shower. I think the water was, I don't even know, it was hot, but it felt so good. But my skin, I moisturized deeply last night and I even moisturized, I took a shower this morning and I moisturized again. I probably went into moisturize with Vaseline, girl. Oh my God, I don't know how much it worked out of me, girl. It was insane. So I got two, well, I actually got four. And I was looking because I thought I got I thought I got four, but I think I have three. There's one that I'm using right now. Uh, yeah, I think I just got three. So I got three. These all of these have no um holes. They have pre-drilled holes. You gotta go ahead and do that yourself, which is not bad, honestly. I what I used to do, I just get a screwdriver and stab it. <laughs> so you got a lot of yeah. Guys, look who we have here. I know, like, in your head, you're thinking, like, why you're so fake? You don't like your own cat. I do love my cat. It's just, I don't ever see him. He only comes out when I film. And it's, there's times when I want to play with him, but he doesn't want to play with me. So it's only when I'm talking like this. Maybe I should. No, I'm not. I already feed a girl. I can't. You, you're too spoiled. I keep seeing a lot of pictures on Facebook of people saying their cats are brats. And I'm just like, Mine's a brat too. I think he's the biggest brat alive. Like literally, he's so spoiled, but I love my baby so much. And he's just so fluffy and hairy. A lot of hairs goes on my faces. My faces, my face. And also, he's so precious. Baby, stop getting so annoying and getting all over me. I finally bought a lint roller and it's been working wonders. No tiene razón si este gato va a estar aquí. Like, it doesn't. It is what it is. But yes, I like this. I like to use it as cash pots. And I, the one that I'm using right now is my Arizona. I'm using it currently as a cash pot. So, right? 
And then whenever I'm ready to uh, actually use one of these, which I am planning on using one of these, if not the other ones that I have over here, I'm gonna put some Anjulas. These are perfect because when they're really, really cheap, they're plastic, which means it will retain moisture. They're pretty doable. I mean, obviously if you're really aggressive, it would crack, but for the price, it's not that bad because you know you get what you pay for but i'm telling you these have i have some that are really really old so like these are just amazing to have um it was better when they were a dollar and i think i heard that they're raising the prices again for a dollar fifty which i mean it's still cheap but it's just like yeah i mean that's what dollar general did right and the 99 cents that everything was like an actual dollar and then they switched it up and now i mean i get it it's whatever also my total came out in dollar tree 1624 i don't know if it says how many items i got it does not but tax was 124. my total was 15 on the products so i can actually count so let me see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve items that's a really good deal i got a lot of planters and then i got these i actually i used to use these a lot it's more of a matte it's like more like neutral but i also really really don't i'm not gonna hit them i also really do love the dark one i'm starting to fall in love with this one a little bit more i love the contrast that it gives in the foliage it's a lot more like it just looks prettier this was kind of cute but it's just really really neutral and yeah i also like the the feeling of it i also love to use this as cash pots um or just bottom watering a lot of my hanging baskets so highly recommend this i used to use the cat trays from dollar tree which were amazing and and so I found out and it happened to me that it, 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 you can transfer diseases and a lot of problems like that really, really easily. I don't do that no more. These are a 10 by seven. So I'm guessing the top is seven inches and the height is 10 inches. I think so. And then lastly, I got these. I really don't like this white thing over here because it looks so cheap to me, but I have one actually hanging with my neon photos. Not quite sure you guys can see it. That one at the very top, and I do have another one. There it is. It's that one right there, and it's currently holding my. It looks like it's my global green, but it's doing that because my lemon meringue. I'm gonna do it slowly. It's right over here. It even has a tag, and you can really, really see the lemon meringue. But for some reason, this one it's doing some white thing. People say uh, the global green came from like the mandula or something like that. So maybe it's just a little bit confused. But I have that one right there, and then I have. The neon photos right there. I was gonna say, ah, you're close. Oh, don't bite me, uh, Chiflao. No, you're so spoiled. Excuse me, you're not gonna bite me to get whatever you want. That's not how this works, okay? What do you want, baby? You have food and water. What you want? You, want, you wanna play? You wanna play? All right, so we're gonna play with Valentina because it's not like he wants to play. But I, before I do that, but I actually got these as cash pots and I really, really do love how they look. Um, it's kind of growing at me and the white part like the white string looks really tacky and gross But when it's in the ceiling, you cannot really see it and it actually kind of blends in compared to like the Costa farm ones that are kind of dark so I actually do like these a lot. So let's go play with Valentino So like back then I used to always give him treats whenever he wanted a treat, but he started to get overweight so now Can you guys can see him? So now I have to like calm down and that's why he's on a feeding schedule You don't want to play? <laughs> you got this, baby? Can you catch it? Bess, you see what I'm talking about? Don't, girl. I'm not even looking up. Valentino? Look. You want the other string or you want, this one's fine? This one was your favorite. Yeah. See, he just wants food, y'all, but I, I, he's on a diet. He was getting overweight. And a little bit of me was like, that's okay. It's a okay. confused. People love fat cats. But then I also started learning that people don't really know what it does to the cat. And it's actually really, really painful for them and really, really bad for them to cause a lot of problems and can shorten their lifespan. And that's not what I want. So I need to put this cat on a diet. He gets fed six times or seven times a day. I think, I don't even know how much it is, but the machine I think serves like two two tablespoons of food. Um, the reason why I did it like that is because, okay, he wants to play now. The reason why I do it like that 
it's because if i do like three big portions a day he won't eat it like he'll leave it so i found out doing like small portions but multiple of them throughout the day it's a lot more better because i hate seeing the food out it's kind of gross and for some reason he likes it when it's fresh even though it's dry food <laughs> you caught it so i read about like whenever they catch it, it's good to like let them like get that dopamine like let that and then when they get, you can just do it again we don't want to keep teasing them because it stresses them out so a little bit of like struggle they like that like going up because they're they're predators that oh sorry baby did i hurt you i was like nah i'm good <laughs> i would love to move the phone but i feel like I f <laughs> he's so cute. I feel like if I move it, he's gonna like, yeah, I'm just gonna move around, so. I think he's bored already. That's it, baby. Come on, catch it. <gasps> catch it. You wanna catch it? Catch it. You wanna catch it, baby? You wanna catch it? You want, you want, you want a brush? Hold on, baby, let me get the brush. Ah, ben, come on. Come on, let's get some pets. Brushy, come on. Come on. Let's go. This is actually some really good ASMR. So we have a deep brush. I don't know if it's here with you right now. We have a deep brush. It's like a deeper, deeper brush. We got this from Walmart. I think one of them I got it from Amazon. But the deep brush. I don't know if I'm gonna show it to you. Baby, I know, baby. Come on. Let it follow. Like that. Like that. Then we got a deep brush, and that's only supposed to be used like once or maybe twice weekly. This regular brush is not that deep. This is really good to do it like it could be like whenever you want, so like multiple times a day, they're fine with that. And yeah, so there's two different kinds from what I know that I have. And then I have another one that it's the same thing as this one. You can use it multiple times a day. But it has like a little button and you you push you push it and it releases the fur. And since he's a very, very furry cat. I know Papa, let me see. Um He's a very furry cat, so that's always really, really helpful to do. It's kinda hard to like do it while showing y'all because he has his ways. He likes the side over here a lot, like the back of the ear. Right baby? There's a lot of fur now, huh, sugar? And honestly, the worst part is his tail. I try to do it as much as I can, but he doesn't like it. He only likes the head and like the sides and the body. I try to sometimes get the bottom and sometimes he lets me, but sometimes he doesn't. And I think that's a really, really sensitive spot for them. So, oh, and the, over here, the chin is where he likes it a lot. And you guys can see it, but he, you like it, huh, baby? It feels like, Feels like mama's tongue. There you go, my baby. There you go, my baby. Are you so precious? Such a furry kitty, huh, baby? Such a furry kitty. Such a furry kitty. You know what? One of my goals for Valentino ah! is, um, hey, baby. I know, baby. Give me a minute. I'm trying to talk and do this at the same time. One of my favorite, my favorite goals. One of my goals is to have a mini fresh for Valentino and serve him a uh, fresh, like not canned food it's a lot better than dry food um cats don't drink a lot of water so that's why they have a lot of liver problems from from what i was maybe that was it got stuck baby, i'm sorry they they have liver problems from what i read because they don't really they don't drink a lot of water so and their food if it's dry food um it's dry so that's why if you can add any moisture or water and their food it's like awesome so that's where canned food is really, really good for them, but it also depends on what kind of brand and the quality, quality of it, but it just gets too much. So the thing is, he doesn't eat a complete can. He will do like half of it. I know they saw, even at Walmart, they saw like a little cover. You can put it in the fridge, but I don't want that in my fridge, girl. So I went back to dry food, but down the line, and also money, girl, cans are pretty expensive, but down the line, I would like to give him both as an option. You can get like one can a day and the dry food is just like when he gets hungry, like little snacky snackies. And he has his own little fridge. 
because he doesn't finish the whole can. And they sell small fridges pretty cheaply. They're like $30 or $40. I mean, it's expensive. It, it's a, uh, it costs money, but you know, if it can preserve the food and I don't want it in my own fridge, that's perfect. And that's just cute for him to have his own little, hey baby, that's just really cute. You need to have your own little, your own little fridge. You want the top? You want the top, huh, baby? You want the top? You like the top, baby, don't you, baby? You want this side now? Let's do that side. I should probably take off the fur. His whiskers are pretty sensitive, so I hate doing it right there, because it seems like he doesn't mind, or he sees a tough kitty. Okay, baby, that's a lot of brushes. Let me show you how much, co how much fur we got. Back then, he used to eat it. I don't know why. We always thought because he was like alone and it, for him, it felt like it was another cat. We do want to get him a kitten, but it's, it's more than that. And we don't have the money to have two cats. Look at that. So down the line, we would like to have um, another kitty for Valentino to have company. But right now, he's just going to have us. And hopefully down the line, we can get him a bestie. But para ahorita, no. <laughs> so that's enough cat stuff, huh, baby? You're pretty good now, or you want more attention stuff? You wanna play? Can I work a little bit? Of you? Hmm? Baby, we can do the, We can hit two birds with one stone if you can just act on the camera, baby. People love to see cats, and I can play with you. Or you have to probably wait until I'm done. This fur. Oh, he said, "Okay, then I'll wait." Okay, baby. I guess I'll try to muscle test. Oh my God, I feel like an actual like parent. So I did got some plants and I will show them to you. I do have another one. Uh, my dad is here. Uh, I will leave, what was, I forgot. So I got this orchid. Look at that, y'all. I think I did show you on, on, the, on the car, but I'm gonna show them how they look. I did end up reporting one already on yesterday's video. So you can go ahead and check it out. I did saw the prices on everything. This was $21.90 and I got it for $10. So that's not bad. I like how it comes already with a nice ceramic. And I love the design. There's like, whole, well, there's only holes in this side and the back. So that's on that. But it's just such a pretty orchid. So in this video, we will go ahead and repot it with this bag. But that's the reason I went to Lowe's to go ahead and um, buy this baggie. And I found some plants. So that's okay. And then yesterday, we ended up repotting this beautiful orchid. Look at that. She looks amazing. I already cut off the flowers. She used to let her grow. And I'm just really, really happy. I also already had her, what do you call it? I, this is my second time using that, that planter and I love reusing planters because like, that's why, you know, glass. You can use this forever and ever and ever. So I love that a lot. And then lastly, of course, which we're also doing this video, we're gonna propagate my Cebu Blue because I want another one and it will promote more growth on top. So I'm gonna go ahead and give her a good haircut. <laughs> hey baby, what's wrong, sugar? You want, you want, we don't, we don't get him um, dry treats anymore. We have these yogurts. They have some water in it. I'll, sh I'll do it in the video with you so you guys can see it. I got that from Walmart as well. You can't buy this baby. He's smelling it. Cause it's a new plant, huh baby? So it's kind of dry. I can tell it's dry. So we will chop it up. I love this a lot, but I might need to take this thing off so this string can go down. So I can put this on the shelf and it can get some really, really good grow lights. I paid $14.98 not in clearance, but that's a really good price for this beautiful, Cash pots and my order is right at the door. So um, yes, I will go ahead and propagate this with you down the line. Girl, we got the Taco Bell back secured. Also, the footage is so annoying. Like the camera, I don't know what Apple did to my phone. I ended up updating it because I'm dumb. And what ended up happening, girl, the camera's like acting weird. So I'm hoping it's a, I think it's a bug. Hopefully they will fix it with the next update. Just a little bit irritating. I might need to go ahead and need to update my phone. Like upgrade, I'm already half done with it. And they're giving a promotion at AT&T if you upgrade. You get, they give it like a thousand dollars for the phone and just pay for the other phone for like 300, I think so. I need to read more into the final print because that sounds way too, too good to be true. I have an iPhone 13 Pro Max. That's what I used to record. And let me turn on the upper lights. That's what I used to record on my videos. I don't use any fancy cameras. I would love to, but they're so expensive. And transferring footage from my phone to my computer is so easy compared to an actual fancy camera. But I'm gonna give you guys a little haul. <laughs> and later on, I will give Valentino a little yogurt. Ooh. Y'all see that fungus gnat? Those damn fungus gnats, girl. They be everywhere right now. 
Okay, I got unlatched Pepsi. By the way, as I'm doing this, I'm gonna script because I have, I gotta do something with the company and I need to go ahead and script it a little bit, which I hate doing. Not like script it, but give myself bullet points so I don't forget what I gotta say. As well, I, there's a plan on the video, so it's not just like a random video. I'm trying to do that a lot more on my channel. Mm. Hello. Oh, hello. I love me a good Pepsi. It's kind of sweet. Also, I got these mats. I know they're kind of nasty and cheap. But I'm from, what, I think I got them from, the, from Amazon. It's, it's what I have right now, y'all. It's what I can afford, <laughs> but you can buy Taco Bell. Girl, it's good. It doesn't look cute, but it does protect my table. So, actually, I actually kind of forgot what I got. Ah. Uh, eh. Okay. Napkins. I think I got an order of tacos. It was like a combo. <laughs> and then, ah! You guys, it's the new chicken and pan. This is a plant channel, but I want it to be kind of fun. Like, I want to do more with y'all because I'll be doing, like, daily content. I feel like doing too much plant stuff can be a little bit like, okay, we get it. And there's only so many plants that I can do. So it's more like, a, I, I, I hope you guys like this kind of vloggy kind of stuff. I love watching them a lot. And I'm going to see if you like this. So, But I won't know until I try. So, um, yeah, I got, I got my little chicken empanada. And I, I'm going to try it. It's brand new. And then I got uh, this sauce. It's like a spicy ranch. Oh, my God. I do eat healthy. Yesterday, I made a caldo de pollo for my cousin and my, and my boyfriend. And yeah, but right now I'm gonna feel like making food. I have a lot of footage and a lot of content I need to edit and film. And I gotta do a lot of plant chores off camera as well. And house chores. I don't have, I don't really wanna cook for myself. I'd rather just buy something and then they have something new. So it doesn't hurt to try it out. I got my boyfriend a burrito cause he loves the burritos. He likes, it's funny cause he likes soft tacos. I don't like soft tacos. I love crunchy tacos. Soft tacos give me the ick. They are delicious. Like I love my bean and cheese and papa con huevo. But like, I'm talking about, I like, I like crispy. Like, I'm more of a crispy kind of person. So, let me know if you like crispy or soft. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a hard kind of girl. I like crispy. And then I got, I think this is a pizza. I wanted nachos, but on, the nachos cost like, loaded nachos, I think so that's what it's called. It's like $4, three something, um, the app. But since Dorothy inflates the prices, it was like $8. So I ended up getting this one, which was part of the combo. It was like a little pizza, which is not really a pizza. It's like a pizza taco. I actually like it. It's tortilla, yes, or meat. We don't like it's just random ground beef, whatever it is. But I love the seasoning of it. I love using Diablo sauce. This is the only sauce that I use from them. I used to use the other one, I think Fire, but that one's just like for flavor. But this gives me like the, I like the burning sensation. And then I got just crispy tacos. So that's my little haul. <laughs> I would try the chicken up on that. It's just brand new. <gasps> if you try it, let me know. Girl. Like, oh my God. <laughs> this is so weird because, like, this is a plant channel and I'm doing a Taco Bell review. But like I said, I want to do more vlog because I want to start doing like longer videos, but okay, hold up. I want to start, I want to open it so you guys can see the inside. I probably should because it might look nasty, but let's find out. I want to do like more than just plant stuff, right? Obviously still plant related, like that'll be the biggest main thing. But every now and then, add some like other stuff in there. So here's the chicken panada, it's kind of weird, but it smells really good. It smells like chicken and seasonings. Let me, oh, I should have tried it without the sauce. Let me try it with the sauce. Mm-hmm. I can smell the rose from the uh, the mayor's um hand soap. Okay, it's not bad. It's kinda chewy. But for some reason I like it. I keep yeah, I'm a sauce person. I should have I forgot I was supposed to. It's like chicken and cheese and seasoning. So good. The irony of it all, I just had a salad. I try to like, whenever I, I eat unhealthy stuff, I try to balance it out. Because I love fast food, girl. I, I just, it, it is what it is. I love Wendy's, I love my McDonald's chicken nuggets, I love Taco Bell. So I always try to balance it out. I try to eat like raw vegetables. I've been doing hummus. Hummus is so good. And I, I love eating raw vegetables with hummus. And the best way to get the minerals and the vitamins out of a vegetable is not when it's steamed or cooked because with the temperature, it loses the vitamins and the minerals. It's best to always eat it raw. You get more out of it. So and I love to eat raw, raw vegetables. 
with hummus. It's delicious. And of course, I get my hummus from Walmart, but they sell it anywhere. Like, I also saw it in HEB. So let me try it without the sauce. Mm. It's very cheesy. It was like four something girl. <laughs> Considering it's a it's a fast food channel. Like, hello. One of the app, I think it's like three something in the actual store or restaurant. It's not bad, but for like almost four dollars or like five dollars on DoorDash, it's kinda crazy. And it's not it's not It is good though. You know what? I'm so sorry. This is not. This is a plant channel. But it's my channel, so I can post what I want. <laughs> and, um. I wanna experiment. Like, I don't wanna just keep doing plants. Like, I wanna do more. Because a lot of people been telling me to do um, <laughs> cooking videos. Like, every now and then. Like, in a vlog or whatever. I'm kind of down to do that again. So I'm happy you guys are missing that a little bit, but. Mm. That's so good. I know people touch stuff, but I don't really care. I build my immune system, like, give me alone. I'm young, I can take advantage of my immune system right now before I get it gets weakened, right? So. All right, a chalupa, give it out of, <laughs> out of 10. <laughs> mm, I give it a, I give it a seven. Honestly, like a hard seven. I love the flavor. I'm not a big cheesy person, but it has cheese, so that's good. Like if you love cheese, you'll love this. It's a little bit chewy. It's not like a crispy taco. It's an empanada that's fried. So I get it. And then with the price, I, get, I give it a seven. So I'm gonna go ahead and watch some plant videos. <laughs> and um, I will show you guys, I will, I won't even show you the haul because I'm show you. We'll go ahead. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and um, repot the orchid and propagate the silver blue with you. But like I said, I wanna add a little bit here and there, like stuff like this, like. Sorry girl, I get really. I'm a really kind of gassy person. Like I, I drink soda or whatever, and I burp, and I found out why I think so. I gulp air. I get a big mouth and I gulp air like crazy, so that I just I burp a lot. I try not to do it because other people get get grossed out. But okay, I'm gonna have my little talk about. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't know if you were interested. There you go, girl. I, I, uh, there it is. <laughs> girl, I am full. Like I am full, full. Oh my goodness, excuse me. And the crazy part is I only ate half of it. Uh, I could not finish the rest. I got a tiny stomach. No, honestly, I, like I said, I had a salad, so. That sounds like so crazy. Like, I'm not trying to be skinny like I told you. Like, what am I missing? I'm missing, girl, I'm missing my dignity. Like, that's what I'm missing. Okay. <laughs> so we're back where we were yesterday. Ooh, the lighting be that light look good. Yes, it looks so bad. It's a little bit cricket. Let's see if I can fix you. Can you see the hair on my shirt? On my hoodie? Okay, I don't know if I can fix this, to be honest. I'm doing my best. <laughs> That's fine. Okay, I am so full. Uh, who does plant choice and eat Taco Bell? <laughs> okay, good. Oh my god. Me siento pesado. <laughs> but I was gonna say, like, I eat salad because, like, I be craving lettuce. Like, I don't know what it is, but I love the texture of lettuce. It's kind of crazy, but not that crazy, honestly. Uh, there's a lot of people like that, but I love eating lettuce mm. with lemon. Mm. It's delicious. Excuse me, I just keep burping. Oh my god. For a moment, I thought my channel was getting better. I was like, oh my god, I'm getting my professional, like, really cute. 
and I'm going back to my other ways. You just, I can't change. And you know what? That's okay because uh, that's what they say to stay true with yourself, which I wasn't being fake, but I was just trying to like really put an effort at like being like, you know, like great, but I'm not trying to like, oh my God, it sounds like I'm trying to like call for like compliments or whatever. I'm not y'all, I just speak my mind and that's what's in my mind, okay? But I'm very grateful that I have people that really just are chill. With, are really chill with the content that I have. Very, very grateful. So, yeah. We're gonna keep it plenty related as of right now because that was already enough of Taco Bell. Okay, I already took off the old medium. And I think I might reuse that. It's pretty bork. <laughs> I think I might use that to be honest. Gonna tickle its roots because it has more stuff in here. It has like, like dirt, but it's like, like mulch. Very, like little nuggets. That's what it looks like. Looks pretty dry to me too. I will go ahead and bottom water it. Like, yet again, this is my first ever. See, I should have got the clear top. I feel like y'all y'all can see it better. Let me go go ahead and go ahead and get it. Okay. Girl, I am heavy. Ooh! Alright, I gotta go to the park. Alrighty. I was gonna dump it in here, but no, because it's gonna make a mess now. I already kinda showed you, but this is my first ever orchid. I it is Dan Drobium Orchid. The other one that I the other one that I have that's doing so good is like one of these. And that's in the in the plant room right now on the shelf. But this is one of my first ones ever having one like this. It looks really really cool to be honest. I'm gonna take off the stick. I, oh I didn't even cut off the flower. Wow. I gotta do that in a bit. And I also have a Vanda Orchid, which is really really cool. One of my oh, one of my second Vanda orchids. I did have one a long time ago, and I think I left it in the greenhouse. I think I did, or something happened to it. I don't know what happened to it. It has like some. I mean, it looks like I took all of it out, but I see more inside. But I think that's fine. Again, I don't know if all orchid roots are supposed to look like green and thick when they're happy and hydrated. These look very like white and just very shriveled up. They look very thirsty. So I will, like I said, bottom water this. And can I take this thing out? <laughs> I just saw the camera. It looks like I'm being so aggressive on it. Y'all, I. I know that I, I've seen they inspect the roots and they cut off the bad ones. I don't ever do that. And I mean, I've had, I have a really, really good orchid and I've never done that to it. So I'm guessing, I mean, it probably would have benefited if I did that, but I'm not doing that girl. Let me add some new potty mix or orchid potty mix. So let me get some scissors and cut off the old flower. And also this dry piece over here, which I'm pretty sure is dry. Ow. Ow. Oh, it's water over here. Damn it. Uh, 
I'm gonna get a pillow girl. I just can't. Oh, that is so much better. So let me go ahead and cut the flower. Or the used up flower. Just like that. And then when I cut off this, oh, I'm pretty sure it's gone. Oh, it was a little bit green, but. A little bit green. It's whatever. We'll see what happens. And that is it for this little guy. Look at that. Super cute. I am gonna bottom water it and like what I'm gonna do is get one of these containers, fill it up with some water, a little bit of fertilizer, dunk it in there and leave it for like a couple hours and then take it out. Drain the excess water and put it back in the grill light. That's how I'm gonna treat it. I will show you guys how the Vanda Orchid is looking. She is against the wall, and I think she's gonna like it, but I think I should also go ahead and water her as well. Because <clears throat> I don't know when was the last time she got water. Her roots look a little bit shriveled, which I will show you later on. But we're already done with the orchid. Yay! It feels like I'm getting so much done, but I still have stuff I gotta do. But it's okay though. Baby steps. Baby steps. And I still got my talk about drink. I love Pepsi. That's the only dog soda that, that I mess with. I love Squirt, the soda. It's, uh, it's my favorite. I also love Sprite. But every now and then, I'll mess with Sprite as well with Pepsi. Usually Pepsi because it's the only good soda that, that they have in Taco Bell that I like. <laughs> this thing was so good in there, but she's not gonna be hanging. I'm gonna take off this. I will save this in the closet. I like, they used to use plastic, but now they're using these little like aluminum, metal. It's really, really nice. A lot better than what they had before. This was just chill on the bottom because we're gonna go ahead and propagate the silver blue. I'm gonna do it in spider moss because it roots a lot faster. And sphagnum and like I said cutting it back like what I'm doing right now is not just, just gonna give me more more plants ah, okay I thought I cut off a leaf <laughs> it's not just gonna give me more plants but it's also gonna make the mother plants a lot more bushy which is what we love we love making bushy plants I think that's all of it eh. and it's gonna go in a really good grow light and I'm also gonna go ahead and fertilize it to give it a nice pick-me-up and that's all the vines that I was able to find. Beautiful. Gonna cut off this tag. Usually always the same price, $14.98. I won't forget. Fiesta. And uh, let me show you guys the planter. Eh, if I can take it out. Stop. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Oh, some nice roots. Silver blues, I noticed they get really, really root invasive. Like they develop these beautiful white thick roots and it can fill up a pot pretty fast within a year. I noticed that. And then here is a nice cash pot. This alone, like it's like $7. And then this alone will be like $7, like a good price. Together it's like $14. Got her $14.98. So it was a really, really good price. Bonus that I have. I may have pushed it down because bonus that i have some more cuttings to mess with and we're gonna count how many plants i'll get out of this this is how it propagates a lot of my plants and i believe in tomorrow's video moving the pillow forward <laughs> i think on tomorrow's video i will go ahead and propagate a lot of my favorite bedding plants to have them in the balcony because spring is coming up it's in the y'all yeah, it's like right around the corner and i want to have a lot of plants ready to be placed outside so this is already one cutting. You can see the node. The node is, I got dirt in my throat. This little, this little brown spot. It's always behind the leaf usually. Look at that super blue. Beautiful. I gotta wash that off. Ew. And then, so this is like a vine. There is multiple nodes. One, two. That's, it's just two. Even though, which I'll show you right now. Even though this one has two leaves, 
a node would develop right behind this leaf. This one will go right over here. But it's so premature that you're kind of risking it. So I would just leave it like that. It's fine. This one, same thing. It's just going to be one. It'll, it, there should be a node right there. Like an area root, but it should look like that. Can y'all see that? I have the worst camera. Right on my thumb. It's a little brown little tip. That's the arrow root. That's a really, really good one. Usually there's better ones, but for this case, it's pretty good. And no, this is good the way it is. This is a lot more bougier, more, more nicer. So we can get three plants, actually four. So one, two. Usually there'll be like a long stem like that, which is the space between the leaves. Something I just like straighten it up a little bit. It doesn't hurt. And then three and four. This one was not that bad. It has a little error right there. It's, still, it's white. That's usually how you'll see them. But whenever they dry up, they turn brown or like they mature. Like when they're longer and the plant, they you can see dirt on my nail. That's gross. It'll become like brown, right? Like this. <laughs> The camera is so bad. And we have one more vine to propagate. Also, it doesn't hurt. Like, usually if we cut it over here, it's gonna have this big gap of stem that we don't, people usually would just like trim, trim a little bit. But that's not a, a bad um, space in between. That's pretty good. Kind of going to count again, but that's on that. So how many do we have? One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's the perfect amount for one of these. I'm gonna add soil, gonna make the holes, and then I will use one of these. I will not do the holes and put this in here. This will be its cash pot, and I'm gonna go ahead and hang it in the balcony just like that. So I can water the plants without worrying about water splashing down to the neighbors or even in the balcony and making a mess. And it will just collect over here and it's gonna bottom water. And since we know the summer can get extremely, extremely hot, having a little charquito of water here is really, really good. So it will take a little bit longer for it to dry out. And I have not noticed any problems with root rot because it gets so hot and it gets, it's in the balcony, it gets really windy We're on the third floor. So you can kind of see we get a lot more air above. Um, we do. And that should be how it is. And it will grow into a massive plant. But we're not there yet. This is why I love doing this because it's going to be a whole series. I'm not going to really make a playlist. But if you're like watching my videos every now and then, you'll see like the progression throughout because I'll give you guys updates. So we're going to place this in sphagnum moss. I will flip the camera and I'll do that with you in a bit. But I think that's it on propagating on the Cibo Blue. And we're just going to go ahead and get the, the sphagnum moss moist place the cuttings in there and I used to use this clear top to get a lot of things done because I can be over here it has this and it will collect and you guys can see through but I need to use a clear top again for the propagation that I have going on because I think my other containers are busy so I might need to buy another set because I want to go ahead and propagate more plants like I said I want to do a video so I need to spy the most I can also root this in water I think I, this would be these I have not had a problem rooting silver blues and water and then transitioning it to soil successfully it's the same thing so i might do that i'm gonna think about it right now and yeah so i'll see y'all in a bit Alrighty, a little bit of a different perspective but before we do anything let's go ahead and clean this up it's kind of messy so i'm gonna put this down i'm gonna get the silver blue cuttings and put them down as well let me get the vacuum Okay, now we can start. <laughs> uh, that's pretty good, right? We can go to it like that. 
Let me get my pillow. I'm hoping that it's not a bad angle. Just wanna make sure like giving a little bit of a different perspective and it's still dry, so let me get some more water. Reason for falling in love. Oh, just love making a mess. Okay, so these containers, they're from Walmart. You can get them literally anywhere, even Dollar Tree. You just wanna make sure that it has like a nice amount of depth so the, the spider moss can sit on and then you want the top to be clear. Basically what we're trying to do is mimic a greenhouse effect. There will be a lot of humidity in here and with the clear top, it's gonna allow those grill lights to go through. Hey baby, you're so precious baby. That's right, honey. For some reason, I didn't love to smell the sphagnum moss, but I googled and that's really, really bad for cat, um, cats. So here's a cutting. You can see the node right there. We're gonna go ahead and just shove it in there. Now, one thing that I found out, it does make a big difference. You want to make you want to tuck them in you don't want to you know shove it in there and like break a the stem or the area roots you want to make sure that it's nice and snuggled so that's all we're gonna go ahead and do it's a very fun example so sometimes i can just shove it in like that <laughs> sounds aggressive but just place it in wiggle 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 and that's basically that and i think within a week we should start seeing some roots and that's when i'll go ahead and give you guys some plenty updates and we want to see like an inch of roots i feel like that's a good amount you can leave it a little bit longer but not too long that it'll stick to the moss and then it's a really really painful process to separate those white fuzzy roots from the sphagnum moss but i think a week should be fine and then those roots if they're like an inch long i will go ahead and place them in potty mix now once i place it in, in a good a, a good potty mix like a like your regular basic house plant potting soil or container they usually call containers container potting soil <laughs> you want to go ahead and make sure that soil is nice and moist not wet but moist and allow those roots to grow and of course don't place it on the spot yet or like in a like in a spot that oh, sorry you'll place an established plant so you still want to make sure that it it's in a bright indirect window where it's not getting direct sunlight, it but it has a really really good amount of light source or below a grow light and that would guarantee for these plants to continue developing to their own individual plants and that's basically that this clip the it's kind of dirty but it will do the job and that's literally that that's literally all you do to make some free plants to sell trade or grow your collection and yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and find a spot this is a pretty good spot to place i, call, I like to call them cakes but container Let's move this aquarium neon and voila that's basically that <laughs> now you want to go ahead and open it you can open it every day you don't want the sphagnum moss to dry up but you don't want to have like a you know you don't want to have water in there sitting because it will cause problems you just want it to be nice and moist and just let it chill let it rest put some good grow lights in there and we should start seeing some roots you can open it every um now and then I open them like every three days, every two days to let some airflow go through so mold doesn't develop. No, cause like I don't even film in the plant room no more. I'm sharing it with my boyfriend a little bit. He's <laughs> his monitor, he's a gamer. He likes to play PCs. But that is basically it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me on today's new video. We did a lot. We got plant shopping. There was a little plant haul, plant essentials or plant accessories or planters and potted soil that i needed we propagated some plants and stuff like that and we even played with valentino and ate even a taco bell mukbang kind of <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed if you did get a big thumbs up to let me know something positive advice to each and every single one of you guys and i'll see you in the next one bye